Welcome back you guys. So today we are going to make a bacon mac and cheese. So for this recipe you're going to need two pieces of cauliflower, a box of pasta, the, whatever pasta you guys choose to use, ricotta cheese, I'm using a smaller one, a 15 ounce, now that's about the size you need, you don't need the giant one for this one, mozzarella cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. This is just regular grated Parmesan cheese. A red bonnet pepper. A full pound of bacon. One full onion. And one garlic clove. One thing of garlic. So I do want to just throw a quick little tip in. My husband doesn't like tomatoes. Thinks they're nasty. I like tomatoes. I love tomatoes in my pasta. So I actually, when the pasta is done, I'll throw the tomatoes in the microwave for two minutes and it's perfect and ready to go. Now these are canned tomatoes. I don't like any other type of tomatoes. I only like canned tomatoes. Stick a piece of garlic, a whole thing of garlic on a cookie sheet in the stove at 450 degrees for a half hour. While that garlic is cooking, you want to go ahead and prepare your water and get it to a boil and then put the pasta in. Then you want to come over here and you want to dice up your onion, cauliflower, pepper, and then you want to dice up your bacon. Once your water starts to boil, you're going to go ahead and dump your pasta in. So we're going to go ahead and cook that. And give it a quick swirl. We're going to cook it for 11 minutes al dente. So Meaning. our garlic is done. So now we're just gonna let that sit there until it's time to throw okay, it in. So now on low heat, we're gonna go ahead and put our bacon in. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick stir around with my fork. Just making sure it's all flat on the bottom. We're gonna make sure it's on the number two. And we're gonna let that sit there for about five we minutes. We get to put the cover on so that way you're trapping in all the heat. So once the five minutes is up, you're gonna go ahead and take the cover off, and then you're gonna go so once ahead. Once the five minutes is up, you're gonna go ahead and take the cover off and put your onion and your cauliflower in. You're gonna go ahead and give that a quick mix. Then when I cover it right back up, we're going to move it down to the number four mark, the medium heat, and we're going to put the timer on for 10 minutes while keeping a very close eye on it. Then what she's going to do is she's going to go. Then we're going to go ahead and throw in our red peppers, our red bonnet pepper. We're going to go ahead and mix that up. I'm going to cover it again. 
And we're gonna put it on the timer for three minutes this time. Once again, we are just going to mix it up to make sure that the mozzarella gets down to the bottom of the pot. Sometimes it's easy if you just like go in and cup it up. Make sure you get all the cheese in there. This is the olive oil. Because for those of you that know about ricotta cheese, it's not what I call a dry cheese. It's not really a hard cheese that you just toss on. So for this one, I do prefer using a fork. So make sure you're scooping it out of the cup. Now if you don't like ricotta, you could change it out for cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. We're just gonna mix it around. Now, as you guys can see, this macaroni and cheese recipe does not require a roux. If you want to know what a roux is, you can go back to my other macaroni and cheese pasta. And you will find it in that recipe. I will also take that video at the end of this video. I'm just going to go through and sprinkle on some parmesan. And then I just put the mozzarella on top. Now 
Now the reason why you put the mozzarella on top is because if you put it in with everything else, it's just going to combine. But if you put it on top, and then you put the baking mixture on top of that, that's going to combine. And then you can swirl it up once it's all cooked. There you go. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put our bacon mixture on top of that, which is our bacon, onions, red pepper, red bonnet pepper, and garlic. degrees for only 15 minutes otherwise your bacon is going to burn there it is guys your bacon mac and cheese but before you can dig in there's just one last step you guys gotta take you just gotta mix it up I mean you could always just eat it and take a piece the way it was but I feel it comes out better when you mix it up. Because then you're gonna get bacon in every bite. And your bacon will get all cheesy and delicious. You guys have no idea how good this is.